Hello, welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today is Monday. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend, and it is Monday Q&A day at Good Knit Kisses. I looked for your questions for the previous week and answered them, and any other questions that have arrived um, between now and then, um, I am ready to answer any questions that you have live. Again, welcome to live and welcome to replay. If you watch it on the replay, be sure and write replay on your on the comment box and write your question. I will try to answer it the next following Monday. So welcome, good morning everyone. I'm grabbing me some coffee if you wanna grab a drink. Hey Bridget, good morning, how are you? Did you have a good weekend? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. So it is uh, the last day of uh, Oak October. <laughs> I can't even talk. Last day of October, getting ready for UFO November. I am like, I am looking forward to it. I am so looking forward to it. I've already started. <laughs> I was working on projects last night. I frogged another project last night. Yes. <laughs> Good morning. I'll say every, hi to everyone. Bridget, you were first, girl. Elizabeth, good morning. Hey, Ada. Hey, Stephanie. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Gayla and Cheryl. Ellie. Hey, Elizabeth. Um, yes, good morning. Um, it is, uh, yes, how was my weekend? It was good. It was good. Um, we, um, oh my gosh, what all did we do? We had the kids and, you know, did, did our thing. Ah. I have like an alert that just is going to keep pop, popping up on me here. Um, we um, we just enjoyed enjoyed ourselves this weekend. Enjoyed family. Today is Halloween. Last day of of October, and I've got to tell you, I'm just I'm totally looking forward to this UFO November. I got to tell you, that's like all I can think about. I know, I know, other people are all about Halloween today. But all I can think is, yay, I'm going to get some projects done. <laughs> it sounds really bad. Ah. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, anybody who was working on the Bernat uh, Mystery Stitch Along, that is over now. However, you can, can, you can still um, do the Stitch Along and um, get the pattern from what I understand. So... Uh, and of course you can catch my blog and it will have all the links on there and um, clue five or, or clue, <laughs> clue clue five that would be week to this week um, week week four clue four was last week and so if you want to see that final one you can check that out of course you can check my Instagram and see all those photos on there as well um, so the news in the Q&A news um, I will be working on getting some things for the loom. It's going to take me a little longer because I have to process it out. And then I'm going to make like separate um, blogs and um, videos on how to do those stitches. Uh, and what I want to do is um, the loom along, or I'm sorry, the, the knit along and crochet along, what they do is they incorporate all these stitches like... Um, into a big blanket. And that particular blanket isn't necessarily easy to just like, hey, I wanna do this on the loom. And so um, the way that you increase to get to those things um, is a little goofy. Um, <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but I actually think after making it, I actually think that if you wanted to, to do it, it would be better if you um, knit it up and then, um, and then attach them because I think it would just work better. <laughs> I just, there's not really a good rhyme or reason. I mean, you can, you can put them together um, in the way that the, the thing ha is, but the way that you have to increase is really kind of awkward and um, you would actually have to purl in the front and back um, to add it on. And um, it's not exactly a, like an easy transition and, and, and doing that. So anyway, that's just kind of what I decided. So uh, Joanne Gay and I were working on, um, how to do those stitches and translate them over to the loom. Um, also have someone working up on a sample that I had actually started the green little sample um, last week on Loom Knit Tuesday. 
and she's making like a longer version of that uh, scarf for me. I decided to delegate that because someone had offered. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to actually take you up on that. I've never had anybody um, work up my samples for me in advance of a video. So hopefully <laughs> that works out well. And um, I, w I won't out the person that way. She's not like super pressured. But <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, Joanne says... Um, Oh, good morning, Joanne. Sorry, I wasn't scrolling. I didn't realize people were talking. Man, I had like fiber around me and getting itchy this morning. Um, yeah, you're looking forward to knocking out UFOs too, Joanne. <laughs> um, and again, Joanne is a new admin. I don't know if you guys caught that yet, but she's a new admin on Good Knit Kisses on the page as well as the group. So, Joanne Gay, if you see her, um, she is uh, able to help me moderate and uh, do some things. So, good morning, Dawn. I see you hopped on. Good morning, uh, Mickey. And, oh, Carol's on too. So glad to see you. Martha, hey, from Oklahoma. You, it was hard to find me this morning. I'm glad you found me. I haven't been on for very long. Um, <laughs> Joanne was able to change herself from looking like good night kisses, and she's on there. She says she <laughs> she's done impersonating Carol today. Mm. Anyway, okay, so good morning. So November, UFO November, what's up? Okay, so what we're going to be doing is, um, hey, good morning, Mary's. Um, we're going to be doing UFO November, and what that is, is that's a chance for you to get those things done that you may have, like, just shamefully put away. You're like, oh, I can't finish it, or, you know, for whatever reason. Um, you know, maybe you put it away because you got frustrated, or it got forgotten. Um, you know, maybe there was a step that you needed help with, um, you know, and maybe your skills have increased since then but you have just delayed getting it done maybe it's a bind off waiting in the corner that you need to get done <laughs> so this is the month to do it so what we're going to do is um we've got an event page all set up so if you click on the good Nick kisses um logo here and go to the main page and go to events click on events and you will get to go i'll show you what it looks like i'm going to i can flip the camera around Am I on the event page yet? <laughs> um, we are, let's see, where's my event here? Events. Ah, I'm trying to go to it on my computer. <laughs> anyway, you, on the, on the left-hand sidebar, um, you'll see the word events, and you can click on that and see what's going on, and then um, be able to participate uh, and post your UFO photos. So you're going to take your, you're going to take your little, I've got basket of some photos and you've got your loom or your needles or your hook or whatever it is. And then, um, post a photo of it and say UFO one and then write, you know, hat or scarf or sweater or blanket or whatever it is, or bind off, you know, whatever it is. And if you intend to finish it, if you are going to frog it, um, or if you're going to friend it. And so, um, I actually frogged one more <laughs> this week. Um, it's a really pretty yarn and I had started the pattern, but, um, something happened and, um, I decided to put this really heavy weighted stitch marker on it and it really started pulling the stitches out. And, um, and then I had kind of forgotten my placing on it. Um, I was doing something, um, and I just messed up. And so I was like, you know what? It wasn't very far along. So I decided in the stitch that was messed up at the very beginning. So I was like, I'm just going to frog it for now and get back to it. So I actually pulled it off the needles and reconstituted and I got my needles back. So now I'll be able to uh, put those away. And um, then when I'm ready, when I'm fresh and I don't have all my UFOs, I will start that project back again. So um, anyway, so now I'm going to put my needles away. This was from upstairs and I brought it down. I say we don't have basements here. Um, there's very few in Texas, but so my my downstairs is actually the first level, <laughs> at ground level. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so I did that, and then I actually started. I had been meaning to um, finish some scrubbies, uh, or well. I had done one scrubby, and I needed to do several, and so I actually decided to start them. You know what I did? I want to show y'all. 
Um, I, I actually started, because it only requires six pegs, I started three. So actually now I have three that are all done and then I'm gonna do the bind off on them all at the same time. So um, they're, they're all sitting here. There's these little wedges. Isn't this fun? So I did, I did one scrubby last night and then I was like, I want to make like several more. And so I was like, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going. And so I've got that to start here. I'll show you what the wedge, the, the, the scrubby looks like. Hold on. It looks like this. And so this is, there are some scrubby patterns out there. There might be some similar looking to this. Um, this is, um, this is the one that I did. <laughs> so um, this is not a twisted knit stitch. It's not an e-wrap. This is a, a flat knit. Um, it's only one strand and it's using um, a half inch, um, a half inch gaze, a ga gauge, <laughs> gaze. Uh, and uh, anyway, um, this one it was, um, I had done a little differently and it's too loose, but I really like this one. It's nice and, and taut. And I was thinking I'd make a bunch of them, like a stack of them. And, um, and put them in like a cute little glass jar. Um, I'm working on the pattern, Cheryl, so, um, uh, so I mean like writing it out and, um, and I'll get that pattern um, as soon as possible. I wanted to have like a stack of these and then I'll be able to make like a, and I'll make a video and I'm, I'm testing some, some things out to make it as easy as possible for you to remember and not try and complicate how to remember it. So, um, Anyway, um, yeah, it's very similar to the hexagon um, blanket. So, oh, and Joanne says she's off to appointment. Okay, <laughs> see you later, Joanne. Um, let's see, Joanne. Oh, sorry, I'm missing some of these. All these, all these comments are out of order here. Um, you found a UFO that needs to be frog, Carol. Oh, that's awesome. Well, hopefully, you'll be able to get to that. Um, Steven, first time you made it live. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Steven. <laughs> John says it hits the heart. You have a cardigan that's almost finished for two years, and you have a button uh, band to put on it and a button band that's just intimidated you even to try all this time. Oh, well, I'm glad you'll be able to do it. Um, in fact, that reminds me. <laughs> I showed a whole bunch of UFOs. If you didn't catch my, my broadcast Friday, um, I did two broadcasts. One was the main one, and then I did this announcement for the UFO, um, Fix It, Frog It, or Friend It. And um, if you'll catch that, I showed a whole bunch of things. But that reminded me, I actually have a button to sew on a little, you know, neck <laughs> neck warmer basically and um, I have waited and waited and waited on this thing so um, I was gonna show it on camera and now I'm like oh, I just sew the darn thing on so <laughs> I waited and waited so I'll get that done um, let's see Carol says Joanne you'll change uh, oh okay oh when you when your computer buffers it changes you back that's weird um, good morning Patty good morning Colleen uh, Alicia, you do all your UFOs in the summer months. This time of year, you do Christmas gifts. Yeah. Well, so, so Alicia, that's really great. You've got a little pattern like that. Um, there are sometimes people start making Christmas gifts and they never get done either. So I think this will be good. Plus, you know, I think, uh, if, if they weren't designated for somebody, if you get a UFO done, then it'll help you get it done in time for Christmas. Or you could have started it last Christmas and meaning it for this Christmas. And maybe you just need that extra little gumption to get it done. Um, don't think, oh, it's in the wrong colors or whatever. Just get it done. Come on, you know, and then if you decided to gift it to a different person, you can always do that. So, um, did I use cotton in the scrubby or just scrubby yarn? No, I just used um, this big, thick, why do I keep putting it away? Um, this one, it seems like it's two uh, strands. It's actually, it's nice and it's nice and thick-ish. I know it, it may not sound that way, but, um, and it is a little bit stretchy, um, but it's just one strand of this scrubby yarn. Okay, um, I got this variegated scrubby yarn at, um, this was at Michael's, was this at Michael's? Oh my gosh, <sighs> y'all, I can't remember. No, Michael's is the solid, 
Michael's had Michael's had the solid green, and I want to say that this was Joanne's. Joanne's was the variegated. So I have purple, and then this pinkish, and then the of course the blue and gray, I mean the black and gray and white, and then this um, kind of baby colors, and then this bright colors. Uh, it has got kind of the pinks and greens that I love, and then um, this other one here. And one more with oranges and pinks and yellows. Anyway, so what I did, if you're just joining me, this is my, um, this is one of my UFOs where I had, I had done, I had done like one, a, one lone scrubby and I hadn't written the pattern and I wanted to improve it because it was way too stretchy for my, my thoughts. I thought oh, it just needs to be, it just needs to be more, um, uh, rigid and uh, or you know like firm so now I have this really firm scrubby and uh, anyway so I ended up actually um, making the firm one and then I decided to cast on and do one at a time and I got it got the little scrubby all the way up to the point where I want to do the bind off and so I actually have three on here at a time one two three <laughs> so now all I have to do is bind off and then I'll have um, I'll have some of my, uh, of my scrubbies done. Um, hey, Kirsty, I see you joined us. My UK girl. <laughs> um, yeah, Christmas, Christmas knitting was done in the middle of this month, Dawn. That's what she says. That's great. Oh, and now she says, hello, woohoo, hello from the UK. I didn't even see you. I didn't even see that comment, and I said that. I'm just scrolling up. It only lets me see two at a time. It sucks. Um, so, oh my gosh, I, let's see, Martha, are you asking me how many I have? That's a bad question. Okay, so I told about it, no shame, there's going to be no shame for me. I counted on camera like 15, but I know there's more. Because I realized when Dawn said that, I'm like, well, I do have something I need a button sewn on. And um, I didn't even mention this, um... <laughs> this uh, rug back here that I hadn't done. And by the way, I was like, yes, I'm gonna get this rug thing done and blown out. It was the super, um, it was the mat, the super um, crochet marshmallow. Um, and I did it and I added on the purple and then I added on the white and I have like four more of the texture stitches to finish and I ran out of yarn. Y'all, I was like zooming to go. I was gonna get this done. <laughs> ran out of freaking yarn. I gotta go get my one more ball of that antique white of the Bernat big blanket yarn. <laughs> I get another ball. Oh gosh. So I gotta do that. And then I did frog one. Um, but the friend it. Okay, so I have behind me. Okay, you can't see it. There's a box back there. I gotta get a box to um, Julie. Julie, I think, is gonna be doing the um, the marshmallow green marshmallow blanket I showed on camera and then um, Chris is going to be doing the um, that red and, and charcoal colored um, like cotton yarn um, and she's going to be making the dishcloth out of that and so I'm going to send those two to friend and then I frogged three things now so I've gotten five off my list <laughs> and then I started working on this one and I almost had a sixth off my list um, but I want to say I probably have 20 projects I know. How did it happen? How did that happen? I don't know. Yeah, Ellie, the Joann's has the sweet rolls, and that's, um, yeah, that was what I was going to do, and I told everybody I was going to do that, and I had not had time to go get it, and I realized when I was going to do the UFO thing, I thought, oh my gosh, I, I need to not get the sweet rolls. I'm really sad. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm, I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted about the sweet rolls. This is really hard. This is really hard. Um, what about the socks? What did she say? Don Gail, I made 22 pairs of socks for gifts. You would think you'd be tired of making socks. You love making socks. Don, oh my word, girl. Whoa, whoa, that is amazing. 
Oh, Carol, I'm brave doing the scrubbies on one loom at a time. Actually, it was pretty cool. Um, where is that loom? This loom has, how many does this have? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. It says 21 pegs. That can't be right. Anyway, yeah, I have just enough to do three, but not more than that. So, anyway. <laughs> uh... You love, but y'all love how I'm doing them all at once. Uh, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool because it, you know, I think that'll actually motivate me to get more done because it won't seem like endless. So I'll be like, okay, I have to load this up. And well, oh, I can't leave them like this. I have to get it frogged and I'll have three done. I'll be like, okay, I'll make three more. So I think that's how I'm going to have to do it in my brain. Have you guys ever done this? Like, have you ever um, set a timer and like say you need to pick up your house? I know we're grafters. Do we pick up our house? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <laughs> come on. Um, okay, so I do this with my kids, and I do it with me too. Sometimes I'll set a timer for like 15 minutes, and I'll be like, "How much can I get done in 15 minutes?" And then I'll just go blasting through the kitchen and try and get as much done as I can. And then, um, and sometimes I'm still going and so I'm like, okay, I'll set another 15 minute timer. And then I'm like, okay, I get my kitchen done and then I start folding some laundry and I'll get as much done as I can. I'm like, <laughs> gotta beat my time, gotta beat my time <laughs> without wrecking something. <laughs> um, have you ever done that? Um, I'm, I'm thinking I might do that with the scrubbies. <laughs> You're like, how fast does it take me? Like, I'm gonna time myself and put like on a, um, like a timer and see how long it takes me to do one bind off and they'll be like see if I can speed up the next bind off <laughs> I mean I don't want to have them like way, way too tight like I'm, I'm not gonna time myself I'm not gonna make it like like where the timers going off I'm just gonna see how long it takes me to do the first one and then see if I can just make it a little faster so uh, anyway <laughs> um, Don says Kristen remember back when we were both learning to needle knit and I said um, I was learning so I could make socks. Yeah. Dawn, you're making your socks on needles? Way to go, Dawn. Is that right? Oh, if I had a clap emoji, but I'm just going to actually clap. <laughs> That's great. All 22 pairs are needle knit. That's fantastic. Um, you, Elizabeth, you don't know how I find time to do what I do. Um... Coffee, coffee, and staying up late, <laughs> fitting things in little moments. <laughs> so Don says, "Do you know much about the Kromsky Minstrel or Sonata or the Ashford Traveler spinning wheels?" I uh, know, I do not. I do not. I know what Ashford is. I know that company. I have an Ashford Joy spinning wheel. <laughs> Cases. Coffee is my boyfriend. <laughs> mm. <laughs> We're all so funny. <laughs> you have certain things to do on certain days. Don says her family has no self respecting piece of dirt would come in my house. <laughs> One time my uncle came in the house and gave out a tiny scream. What? Oh my gosh. Don, I, I love you. I love you. You write like I talk and, and I, and I write like that too. And then I don't abbreviate and then I run out of room. <laughs> I love that. I always have, like on some of the ones that you do, you, you do what I do. I love you. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not making fun of you at all because this is what I do. And so I click on here to see more of what you said. And it's so much that Facebook Live won't let me finish reading it. And I have to go back later and read it. <laughs> because I do that. And a lot of times I'm like editing myself down. I'm like, oh gosh, I did it again. Like every day. This is like a normal thing for me. <laughs> yeah, Don, the, the spinning wheels. My um, my wheels like way back there. That's one of those things. I have like a bin of fiber to spin, and I have never sat down to spin it all. I've actually given a lot of fiber to um, Nikki 
and she's borrowed my wheel and um, she's spun lots of fiber and she's given me some and she's done some other things with it and she's gotten her own and but I actually want to take a real spinning class like I had someone sort of give me a little bit of a lesson but I'm not I'm not anywhere where I want to be so I may actually sit down and do that um oh, I'm trying to read her thing one time my uncle uh, came in the house and gave out a tiny scream I said what's that he said that was dirt jumping off my feet so it doesn't come into your house <laughs> that's funny <laughs> coffee bean is your birthstone gala that's hilarious yeah carol carol is letting everybody yes i do stay up very late i do and then sometimes i send her messages and she's already asleep and i'm like oh darn it i did it again that's funny no i actually um my my house i i'm I'm not a hoarder. People would think maybe I am, um, like all the yarn I may talk about or something. I, my house is pretty, pretty picked up. I'm more messy with like my paperwork or like how I keep things in order that way or like on my computer, it's all kind of chaotic. And I always have like 80 gazillion tabs up. Um, <laughs> and my email inbox is like crazy big. But no, I do keep a pretty picked up house, but you know that's why I can set a timer for like 15 to 30 minutes or whatnot but I try and I try and stay on top of it so I'm not I'm not really that bad but but no I don't want to do it when I'm in the middle of a project that is for show. Sure. <laughs> so um, my husband and I um, I will say um, now I was working we were we were what we called dinks and before we had kids, we were double income, no kids. <laughs> um, and then I had a back injury. And so um, it was like a bulge disc, my L5S1, lowest, lowest um, disc is bulged. And so I had, it was like going in my sciatic, my whole left leg. And it delayed us having kids. But also what it did is um, we decided to make certain sacrifices, like, because we like to go to the movies all the time. And I mean, we would go like multiple times in a weekend or even sometimes during the week. And so we decided to splurge for a housekeeper every other week because I could not get on my hands and knees and do the, um, the, um, the toilets or do the, like the showers. And he was like super busy. And so we couldn't get those things done. So we splurged on that. And so now we just kept that going. So we have this person coming every other week. And so it like keeps us like in this mode. <laughs> so we make certain sacrifices so we can pay for that. So, um, but that, that keeps us going. So, and that's actually, that would be good. I would recommend that for any crafter because seriously that, that keeps you motivated to keep that thing going. Maybe that's why everything's working at my house for me. <laughs> um, Martha says, I still drink coffee milk at 59 years old. Never drink coffee. Let's see. Can you see in my, mine's a way that way too. I do. I do. I do like creamer and stuff in my coffee. Um, <laughs> Gail says, well, I sort of hoard one thing, yarn, oh, and books. You hoard books. I have some books. Um, actually, let's do a little, um, let's do a little giveaway. Let me clean up the little house. Oh, gosh. Anybody want any old crochet book, uh, crochet magazines? I'd like to give them away to somebody who would like them. Um, and actually, oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. All right, hold on. All right, we have, this is um, Crochet Magic. This is a, a Christmas Crochet Magic. This is December 1987, okay? So um, I'm gonna give you I'm going to give you some numbers, and the first person who puts them in, it has to be timestamp on the live uh, thing, and I'm going to give you the numbers, and you have to put them in, okay? So whoever wants it is the one that comes up first. Um, if you want this crochet magic, um, and actually, let me bundle it with something else. Let me bundle it. Let me see if there's another, let me see if there's another Christmassy one. Okay. So we'll do another crochet magic fun. Okay. I was given these by a friend and I want them to go to somebody who's going to use them. Okay. Okay. 
Are y'all excited? All right. This will this will be good. Uh, everybody will get something that has a Christmas theme. Maybe I think I have three. Okay, so I also have crochet uh, magic. I'm sorry, I said crochet magic, but it's magic crochet. And then I have magic crochet. Um, this is um, a touch of nostalgia, and you can even do like an umbrella. Um, so this says Christmas ideas for decor and gifting, patchwork. It's got a little house deal on it. Anyway, okay, so you'll get these two, okay? And this says you'll tie magic gifts to who are in fashions. Okay, the numbers you need to type are 1987-51. Go. All right. Whoever I see first gets it. I'm getting my notes. Who gets it? Susan. No. Did I miss it? Okay. K does, gets it. K, send me your mailing address. K. Where are you? K. Nina Lee. Because I got to go to the post office after this. Because I'm going to send off my friend and stuff. Okay, ready? This one is um, Magic Crochet Gifts. And it's Keepsakes, Party Favors, and Mini Gifts. And this has got, let's see, it's got 74 pages. Ooh. Oh, it's got some nice edgings in it, too. This is good. Ooh, it's got nice, a chart. If you like, if you like diagrams, crochet diagrams, this is a good one. This is a good one for that. Y'all want it? Y'all want this? Okay, so that's this one. This is a big one. And then we'll do um, this is roll stitch crochet fun fashion accessories on a roll, and it's got um, six, six fashion accessories because this is kind of thin. So the big one and that one will go together. It's got a scarf in here and a in a bag and a hat and a shawl. Or wrap okay so we're gonna do numbers for this one okay the first person this is an Annie's attic publication okay the first person who types in eight seven four zero one seven eight seven four zero one seven gets it I'm getting my pad okay is this cool this is good I'm cleaning up I'm cleaning up and you guys get to have something fun. All right, Gayla, Gayla got it. Gayla, send me your, your um, mailing. I gotta get your net last name spelled right. R-E-I-N-K-E-N-S. Okay, Gayla, you get those too. Okay, if you've already got something, don't do it on the next one. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm packaging. Uh, ultimate towel toppers okay these are there's there's Christmas ones in here and there's little dolls too and if anybody likes a snowman look at this little cute little snowman and I cute so cute okay so these are these are really cute okay so this is this is crochet sorry it's all it's all crochet right now but this is oh look at this little strawberry not cute little strawberry and there's a chicken one. There's a turkey. Hey, look at the turkey. Look at the pansy. Oh, and there's an angel dress, a triangle towel topper, a sun bonnet, a flower. Oh, this is fun. Here's a snowman. And the little doll. Oh, look at the gingerbread doll. Okay, whoever gets this. You're going to have some people ask you about these patterns. <laughs> this is published, if you want to know. It's from Annie's Attic. Um, it, I can tell you the ISBN if someone wants to look it up. I don't know if you can still get it, but the ISBN is 1 9311712. So if you want to re watch the replay and get that number again, I'll say it again 1 9 3 11 71 
0.092. So that's that. Okay, so who wants this and what should I package it with? How about crochet thread on a roll? This is, oh no, I'm not going to sell you this. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'll just throw this in here. This is actually, this would be good for ideas, but this is, this is not a book book. It's like a, more like an order catalog. Anybody interested in me giving you a catalog that has ideas? If you don't want it, tell me. I'll put it with it. I, I didn't throw it out. I didn't realize what she had given me. Okay, let me find another one because this one needs something else. Because you need you need patterns, right? Who want okay, the person who would want this, I would think a jar dolly would go with the kitchen thing well, right? A jar dolly. That's a big thing. The mason jars, right? That's a cool thing. Okay, this is also another order it. But you know what? You guys are smart you can make it from looking at pictures. So if you want some cool pictures, I'm gonna send this with it. Let me find another pattern book. This person is getting something with patterns. I'm gonna find a darn pattern book. <clears throat> Trying to find a stinking pattern book. All right. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. This goes with it. Doll's Playtime Set. You're bouncing in your chair, you're a goober. <laughs> okay. Dolly's, Dolly's Playtime Set, this does have patterns in it. Thank goodness. Um, <laughs> it's got one of those cribs and a cute little comfort doll and a little, little white dress and a little man, a footed, a footed PJ set, a sundress set. So it's like clothes. So if you like that kind of thing and you can make it for kids or grandkids there's another page and i can't get the page to turn oh lolly oh okay so this is like all of them together so i'm gonna put that together with that because it's not very big so this comes with towel toppers who wants this okay get ready for your number if you want it ready ready we're ready with the number uh eight seven four zero one three Eight seven four zero one three. Whoever says it gets it next. Ready go. Susan Claycomb. Susan Claycomb. Yay, Susan. Okay, Elizabeth. I've got more stuff, so hold on. Oh my gosh, the post office is going to love me today. <laughs> okay. How to crochet on a roll. This is got a cute, this is a sweet pillow. Look at that. That pillow and then this really sweet little blanket behind it. Um, these are bookmarks here. Oh, the bookmarks would be really good for uh, gifts. There's a sweet little heart here. You could use that. Well, you can use it now or... Um, coming up in Valentine's. Here's a nice little pot holder. It's got, okay, so this is the roll stuff, how to crochet in a roll. So it, it shows you how to, how to do this particular stitch. It's got some step-by-step. -step. And then this is the rolling skies throw. And then the sweet, this is really, this is sweet. This is a heart sachet. So you stuffed, it looks like you, it's a stuffed sachet, um, but there's this pillow, diamond and lace pillow cover. That's really sweet. I like that. I like that pillow. I would get it just for the pillow. And then this has got a nice cross uh, bookmark. Okay, so crochet and a roll. And then how about belts and bags? Belts and bags. Um, so this was, this is really nice too. These are all crochet, y'all. Um, this is, this is, look at all these, okay, there's a ton of them. See, look at these different purses, these different bags. Do y'all like that? Okay, so, and these are universal. I mean, really, a lot of these can be used till today. You just change up the colors and, you know, you may tweak something. Um, ooh, look at this houndstooth. That's not even in the cover, but that's kind of cool. 
And then, oh. Okay, that's someone's invoice. <laughs> the names on here, this is my friend's grandmother's, so she is passed already. So this, the anything that you see on here of personal nature would be hers. And um, she passed and she gave me some tools and gave me the books and wanted me to give them to people who would use them. And so I ask that you use them. And if you make something with it, please post it to my page, okay? And tell me that this came from the book that I gave you, okay? Isn't that fringe one cool? Yeah, I like it. Okay, so whoever didn't win, you're next, okay? Um, this is for the belts and bags and the how to crochet on a roll, okay? Ready for the number is 874015. That's 874015. Who will be the winner? Come on, Elizabeth. Ellie. Cheryl, oh my pin. Cheryl Whaley, oh my gosh, my pin. Cheryl, Wally, Whaley, how do I say that? Gosh, this is a pin, really? <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what, what? Is going on my 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 stuff is like not writing like this is a freaking pencil and it wasn't writing on this <laughs> like what's wrong with this paper okay congratulations Cheryl congratulations winners I still have more have no fear Kristen is here okay so this is a piece of paper that is means nothing that means nothing to me either um, picture this projects what is this? This is squished between. Look at this. This is brush on picture this rub off paper. Oh. Oh. It's like one of those one of those that you like you brush on and rub it off or something. I don't know what this is. Additional instructions for picture this project. Read the instructions on the picture this label before starting your project. 12 colors, fabric paints. Picture this transfer medium for, oh, they're transfers and a sponge brush. Does anybody know how to use this? I have never, I have never used it. I don't know if it works. I will send it to the first person who says picture this because I don't know. I will send you what I have. So if this is interesting to you, right, picture this. And if not, I may just, I may chuck it. Who says I do? Elizabeth says I do. Was that for picture this? I haven't done them in years. Well, if you want it, tell me and I'll send it. I'm probably gonna be spending a lot at the, the post office today. Picture this. Elizabeth says picture this. Okay. Elizabeth, and you can still write your name for the next thing. I just want to give this to somebody who's going to use it and who's used it before. Elizabeth. Um, Keating. Weeks. Okay. All right, Elizabeth. Okay. A needle pulling thread. Oh, by the way, Facebook is in no way associated with this giveaway right now because this is a random, random spastic thing. Okay. All right, so this is a needle pulling thread. Oh, I got to get to all the live comments. Sorry, hold on. Way to go, Elizabeth. <laughs> um, made in India. Not sure where that sticker came from. Probably some yarn somewhere. Learn. Kami okay, I never say this right. Kumihimo braiding. Okay, so learn that. Sewing machine needle guide, quilt backing basics, knitting measure tension. Okay, so this is for someone who likes um, sewing and um, knitting. It's a sewing book. 
this has instructions for um, um, experienced beginners and sewing, showing how to do some patterns. It's a magazine with, um, here's the York jacket, which is um, uh, knit, knitting, this little knitting pattern in here. And oh, here's a really pretty West the Westdale cardigan. This is cute. Look at this cardigan. That's knitting. It's an intermediate level knitting. Measuring tension. Here's a here's a thing for um, oh and rug hooking. This is a rug hooking thing. I already did a giveaway last night, but nobody knew about it. I was giving away, I got some rug yarn and I already, I knew somebody who would want it. So, okay, so I've got a needle pulling thread. And then, what is this? This is a butterfly magnet, right? Butterfly, if you want a butterfly magnet paper. This is crochet. Butterfly. We'll just do this one right now. If you've already done it, that's fine. I can put it in your package. This is, okay, Susan. Do I already have one for you, Susan? Susan gets butterfly. Okay. I'm keeping them stacked on each other so that I can I can remember who gets what. Okay, and then I have sculpture crochet mini kits. This is a pattern for sculpture crochet mini kits. Let me make sure you've got everything. Pineapple centerpiece and I want to make sure it's everything because if it's not, I'm not going to give it to you. Row 20. That's round 10. Nope. Not going to give it to you because it's not complete. I don't want to send an incomplete pattern. I would not like that. Oh, round 9. Round 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, perfect. And it's done. Okay. This is Mary Bue Smellick. She made this in 1995. And this says, um, this is for this. This is a pineapple oval centerpiece. And this is crochet. So if you'd like a pineapple, write pineapple. Pineapple. P-I-N-E-A-P-P-L-E. -E. <laughs> and... Susan, Susan is fast on the fingers. Susan's quick, quick like cat. Okay, <laughs> I need some more coffee. Okay, this is pearl and bead instructions. Oh, this is from nineteen seventy. Do do sales. Do you? Oh, do you? Oh, do you remember me? This has Brad's. You remember Brad's? This is Brass Brad's. This is a step back in time. Gotta go back in time. Bam, bam. Actual size imitation pearls. Your computer is several seconds slower, Tammy. Well, the whole broadcast is always 30 seconds slower than what I say because I have to wait on you guys to, it's got a delay. But Tammy, Tammy got the yarn. Tammy, you've already got one of these. <laughs> I didn't even reserve it for telling everybody. Yours is back here ready for me to mail. <laughs> Tammy got the rug yarn. So y'all be jealous of Tammy. I outed you, girl. 
Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about this. Ladder pearls, flower crochet necklace. Anybody want the pearl and bead instructions? It's like how to make beads. Bead work. Bead work. You were five in 1970? I was minus five in 1970. <laughs> uh, my, I was born in 75. Okay, so, oh, sorry. Here's the index. There's an index. <laughs> Wee! I can't wait. Yeah. Um, Pearl and Beads. Is Ellie, are we, did you speak up first? Did she speak up first? Oh, good job, Ellie. Ellie gets it. Yay! Okay, it says um, Palm Beach Special Square Necklace, Cape Coral Square, Alice's Necklace, Flower Crochet, Margaret's Reversible Collar, Ladder Pearls, Miami Ring, Figure Eight, Finishing neck Necklaces with Catches, Pearl Sizes, hence for working with pearls. So anyway, you get it. Woo woo! You get it, Ellie DeVito. All right. <clears throat> okay, we are on to more things. Okay. I'm keeping her treasured handwritten notebook because she seems like an interesting gal and I want to, I want to, I want to check out what she said. Her daughter, her granddaughter gave it to me. All right, let me see if I have anything else that I want to give. Because the rest of these I think are mine. And what else? Hold on. Okay. Then I have a needle pulling thread. First person. First person for a needle pulling thread. Are you ready? Are you ready? Get you ready. Seven seven two six eight seven seven four seven five eight four. Seven seven two six eight seven seven four seven five eight four. Ha ha! I didn't make you write it. The word Gala. <laughs> Gala, you've won before. I can't count you. Martha, Martha didn't win. Martha, you get it. Okay, Martha. Prawl. Everybody who have who have said your name that you want it, you need to send me. Um, a message send me your your mailing address um, 77 seven, oh, I'm sorry I'm writing the number down like a doofus okay Martha I haven't said doofus in forever forgive me okay M A G B Y for all all right Martha 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 you got the book here yeah. you got the book all right, I am deciding if I want to keep these or not. Oh, my daughter's gonna want that. I can tell. Oh yeah, this is the book that I wanted to keep for her because it had a butterfly and she wanted to keep it. I'm trying to decide because some of them I had looked over these with my kids. Hey, Amanda. I see my friend. I see my friend, Amanda. Okay. All right. These are really interesting. Okay. So, um, these are called stitch by stitch. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm holding them up like you can read them. I always forget it's reversed for you. It looks normal to me. No, it doesn't. It's backwards. Never mind. <laughs> it's so random. Um, what? Ellie, no, just send it to me again. Just, will you make it easy on me? Yeah, just send it to me again. Is that okay? Just copy paste for the message you sent. Yeah, just send it in my good knit kisses thing. Um... Because I'm going to have to easily look this up when I'm at the post office. Okay, so these books here, 
Um, I have three, okay? Each book has sewing, knitting, crochet, and needle craft, okay? So sewing, knitting, crochet, and needle craft. Each book has projects and they're hard covers. Um, I'm never gonna use them. I, I'll sit here and go, I'm gonna look at these and I'm gonna use them, but the, the, the chances of me actually doing that are very slim and I'd rather them get used. So um, the crochet, let's see. I'm gonna show you some of the things. There's some throw pillows, crochet throw pillows. There's some doilies. There's a baby bag, like a snuggly with arms. Um, see the, the snuggly with arms? <clears throat> um, there's some scarves, which are pretty simple. Uh, pocket scarves are in here. Um, there's a, a cover up. You have to go, Carol? Okay. No, there's no Lumnet Powder book today, Alicia. Okay, Carol, have a good day. Um, now here's the, oh yeah, there's a tunic. Okay, so for knitting, there's some basic knitting information and then shows you a garter stitch scarf and a, uh, a tunic thing and a sweater for all seasons and a knitting course. Um, ribbing, binding off and ribbing, ribbing basket stitch. Um, here's a weaving, pillow weaving. Okay, making pockets for sewing. A raglan blouse, but it's sewing. It's not, um, anyway. Oh, <laughs> uh, not current. Um, needleworks, coasters, needlepoint. Here's some more crochet. Anyway, that's that book. So if you're interested in that book, oh, and here's some more knitting. There's a really sweet, um, like a christening blanket. Um, here's some honeycomb jackets and knitting. There's some kids knitting. So there's extra patterns at the back. Okay, that's a lot for that one book. There's a ton in here. It's it's heavy, so one person will get it. Um, there is, um, this is book, I don't know how to call them. This is volume one, volume two. Okay, write volume one if you want volume one. Excuse me. <clears throat> and then the second one is also the same. It's got all the volume one. Susan wants volume one. Oh, Ellie, I'm sorry. Susan, you already have several books. I'm, I'm going to give them to Ellie because that's what I was trying to do. Was if, if you've gotten several, I was trying to give everybody the opportunity to get something. Okay, well, I'm giving these to Ellie. Ellie DeVito. I'm trying to give everybody an opportunity to get something. Okay, this is for Ellie. I've got two more books. If you haven't gotten something, please write it if, if you like what I tell I'm going to add two more, so be sure you like what I'm going to show you. Okay, this one is, it's a crochet course. There's a little baby smock, and looks like, yeah, it's a baby smock here, and that is crocheting. That's actually crocheted smock. And then this little dress and a vest. Learning about gauge. There's a lot of really good basic information in here. Here's a shoestring, big, big yellow shoestring bag. Um, just a little sewing, a little bit of a project. Um, bulky jacket that's um, knit. Um, oh, this knitting course shows you how to um, figure out a graph. So if you're curious on the graph and 
There's sewing. Anyway, pants, all kinds of things. I think I saw Chris and she noted she mentioned volume two, but I want to make sure if anybody said volume two already. Chris said volume two. We're saying volume two. Okay, there's one last one. Yay, Chris. Send me your info. Chris Lopez. Oh, Chris Lopez, you've already sent me info, so I need to send that with the project you're gonna get. We'll do that. I might send it separate if they let me give me a, if they let me do a, a media package. Um, it might come slower, and um, <clears throat> I'll ship these out. If they let me if they let me ship these like a media thing, then I can get a better deal because I'm sending them out you know on my own cash. So I'm gonna send, let's see what I can do. Okay, last book. Volume three. No, there's no loom knitting, Bridget. <clears throat> you could convert if you wanted to, if there's a chart, but not all these have a chart. Not that you have to have a chart, but I'm just saying. Um, chevron skirt. If you want to make a chevron skirt for crochet. Um, if you want to do some giant pillows. Baby, a hooded cape. Good morning, Mark. Who is, is someone not won something? Um, this is a doily, like a cover thing, knitting course. This is, oh, smocking. This is knitting if you want to do smocking. And remember, there's sewing in here and other needle crafts. This is a shoestring playtime. Not really sure I understand that. Oh, oh, this is like a bag that's like a play mat. And then it's got a shoestring around it. And then he cinch it up and then it's a bag. And it also talks about measuring, like measuring your child for size. There's a knitting, basic knitting course. There's a sewing course on making a blouse. Um, here, here's this thing that was on the cover. Let me find it. Okay, there's a bathrobe, crochet bathrobe. Um, some sweaters, knit sweaters, kids. Kids things with graphs. Did someone say volume three that has not won something? And then what else? I'm looking for this sewing project that was on the front cover. Where the heck is this sewing project? Look at these charts. Volume three, Elizabeth, did you win something already? Oh, here's, here's the thing that's on the cover. This is uh, matching bathroom accessories. This is sewing. Mickey, um, you haven't won anything. Yeah, um, the sewing, I mean the knitting, if you have a chart, you can really just read a knitting chart, but um, on all the wrong side rows, you're going to do them the opposite that they say. Um, and I've got a um, web uh, site um, link that I can give to you to show you how to convert that. So you did the transfers only, Elizabeth? Oh, well then you need something else. Okay, let's do three for you. Okay, all right, Elizabeth. All right, yay, Elizabeth. <laughs> okay, that's it. Yay! Yay, okay, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you got more than that other. <laughs> so, um, sorry if I kind of pooped on somebody's parade and they were like, no, I said the name. I just wanted everybody to be able to get something. So, <laughs> this was awesome. Yay! <laughs> So now I've got to go to the I've got to go to the post office, <laughs> um, but I've got I've got other things to send out too. So y'all are helping me kind of clean out some things, so that'll be good. Um, these are these are things that um, you know I just don't have any anybody in my life that's like right around me that would that I can just give these to and know that they'll do them, you know, um, and appreciate them. Um, I do have some people in my knit and crochet group, but they're not necessarily people that I think would immediately want them um, because I know the type of projects that they do and it's not necessarily those. And so, 
you know, I'd rather them go to, go to people who want them. So yay. <laughs> Susan, um, if you click on the Good Knit Kisses page, you have a place to be able to, I can't see it because I'm looking at my view, but you should be able to message me on the Good Knit Kisses Facebook page and then just say, hey, um, I'm one of your winners. Here's my address. Yeah. So I don't think I need your number. Sometimes those things ask me for numbers. So if you want to give me your number, you can. I mean, I'm not going to call it. It would just be for help hopeful for mailing. I, I never know when I go to the post office, sometimes they're like, give me a phone number. So <laughs> anyway, um, okay. So this was great. I'm so glad you guys joined me today. Um, a little bit longer broadcast because Hey, I was giving some things away, but I'm sure you guys are not happy. Uh, you were, you guys are still fine with that, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> well, um, I'm going to see, Oh good. Ellie. Thank you. You sent me a private message. Excellent. Excellent. So you guys have a good day. Tomorrow is loom knitting day and we'll see what I've got rolled up my sleeve for tomorrow. Um, mwah, good night kisses to you all. Have a wonderful day. Love you. Send me out with hearts if you can. <laughs> I remember to write replay if you have questions and you're on the replay and I will try to answer them next week. All right. Bye everyone.